Safety first, safety first. Safety glasses first. Today at the yard sale, I found this shop blow. This is a shop blower, you see? I'm very um, kind of happy with this. I went on the internet, this is a $20 shop blower I got for $5 at the yard sale. Check this out. It's very nice. Look at it. Brand new. Never used shop blower. Got my safety glasses on first. First you gotta do safety first, see? Safety. Safety first. Glasses. Safety glasses first. Let's see. Okay. Steel wrap. Here it is. Comes with a, a little vacuum too if you wanna just vacuum stuff. That would be the vacuum. This would blow, I don't know. Anyways, my typical style of doing uh, my, my videos. So let's uh, get the power. I'm gonna get the power cord right now. The power cord, I need a power cord. Power cord. some power this is electric it's a blower and a vacuum but I'm not very uh, sure I don't know why it says vacuum you can look at the instructions when in doubt read the instructions and see what it's all about general safety pages and pages of safety shows how the assembly of the Blower is. I was really excited to find this because look how compact this is. Look, compact. Put it here, like this. Man, I'm, I'm gonna take this under the blazer and just blow the sh out of it. I'm gonna blow the bottom of that bla blazer. A little safety stuck button. See what it says about the vacuum attachment. Lower and the number six is the collection bag. Collection bag. There's a ring. The ring is on it already. I don't think it's ever been used. It looks so new and nice. Collection bag. Well, it says shop blower. It's a shop blower, so that's what we're going to use it for. Check this out. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. That's slow. Oh, boy. Did not get the camera. It says it blows up to 75 miles an hour. I'm gonna go take this beast. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna get a different extension cord for this. And I'm gonna uh, go take it under the blazer and see what happens.
what I'm about to do with this blazer is no joke really like I already said you know when you're messing with mechanical like the very core of making this vehicle work properly it has to be a dust free environment the inside of this crankcase has to be particle free This is why you must at least dry clean the crankcase. Look at look at my arms. My arms are dirty. Anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed my presentation of dry cleaning the crankcase. I can't pull that engine down. I have no way to get it to a machine shop. So I'm really trying my best to be very wise in the way I'm um, putting that engine back together. So hope you guys enjoyed it please share this video please like it please leave your comments um, again that's how you dry clean the crate case and the comparison between a small uh, this is what I use today the Torelli little blower for dry cleaning the crate case very effective five dollars at the yard sale this is a really good deal man and look at all the crap it took down this is really nice really really nice this is crusty this is like this would not be good for the the new bearings that I put on so yeah there it is in comparison with this big giant home light 
leaf blower yeah that would not go under under the engine look at it would have not went under there 